in this image um, we've got from foreground to background with this in focus and sort of the blur um, gradually gets stronger the further away you get from the focus point. Uh, with this second image um, we want just the um, person in focus and then the background completely out of focus so there's no um, sort of gradual drop off of focus between the subject and the background. So this photo is from Flickr, it's from the Flickr user uh, Trenard. Um, so thank you very much to them for licensing this with a Creative Commons license that um, allows modification. So let's get to work on this. Go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Lens Effects. And then we want the Bokeh Selective again. And then Edit Depth Map. And then we want our um, depth map on zero, that's black. Make the brush fairly large. And it's going to brush around the outline of the gentleman here. Fill him in black. Looks like we've missed a bit of the turban up here. There we go. Maybe that should be okay. And then now we want the background to be far away, so we're going to select value of 255, which is white, and just paint over the background. I think I might have painted a bit over his shirt there. Let's just go back up here. There we go. And then it's taken a bit of his face into grey there, so let's just paint over that with black. Oops. Let's bring the brush size down a little. Yeah. Right there we go. So now we've got a nice mass, a nice sorry depth map. I keep calling these masks because it's the same um, sort of thing as a mask. Um, so we can close out of the depth map. Go to the focal plane adjustments. Go to single image view. Focal plane position. We want to be at zero, which is black. And you can see there we've got. Our subject nicely in focus. Uh, the depth of field, because we're going from nearest straight to farthest, it doesn't really matter what that's set at. Um, foreground blur amount we can put down to zero. Background blur amount, that's probably a bit too much really. I'll bring it up to something like that. And um, then again you can just hit OK and you can see it's done a good job of um, keeping our subject in sharp focus while the background is completely blurred out. I forgot to create a new um, layer on this one but never mind. So we can just go back to the original and then with the effect applied You can see it's done a good job at um, blurring the background while keeping our subject in focus. So um, that's a couple of things you can do with Topaz Lens Effects. It does have a lot of other options. You can do things like tilt shift and um, selective focus like a lens baby. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show um, doing sort of more traditional focus um, shots where you... Um, keep your subject in focus and throw the background out of focus. So I hope that helps.